So all eyes are on Italy as England prepare for their Euro 2020 quarterfinals against Ukraine. The disappointment of that semi-final against Germany 25 years ago has finally been banished for that then young player who missed a penalty. Uh, the other person in that image, of course, David Seaman. He's with us now. Um, hello to you, David. Good morning. Good morning do you remember that? Oh, I do. Yeah, not very fondly, but I remember last night a lot better now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Just talk to me about that picture and then we'll talk about last night. You went over to console him, didn't you? Um, how was he? Yeah, you know, you can understand how he felt, you know, and it's just that we all wanted to tell him that we'd all done a great job, um, you know, but obviously Gareth felt that, you know, because of what he'd done, he'd let people down. And, and that's the feeling you, you get when you make mistakes. You know, I had that in uh, in 2002, you know, but um, yeah, it, it, I'm so happy for Gareth because, you know, that, that must have felt so, so good last night for him. He looked absolutely thrilled, didn't he? He sort of looked up to the sky. Um, there he is applauding uh, the England team and, and we see images of him as well, looking up to the sky and thanking, I don't, <laughs> I'm not sure which God he supports, if any of, at all, but he was certainly very pleased with the result result he's broken that demon now hasn't he he certainly has you know we talked about before you know about gareth's karma and retribution and all this sort of stuff you know because it's been a long time that he's had to deal with that you know and now he's got this as a manager to have beaten the germans and it was a it was a great day you know and it was great being at the ground as well and, and just feeling the atmosphere feeling the passion from the fans and the noise the noise was incredible uh, 1966 was the last time we beat the Germans uh, in a knockout competition. That really does illustrate uh, how important last night was for England. It does, you know, and with all the all the pressure that was built up before, you know, people questioning his, his uh, team selection and formation. And, you know, now I think we've all got to sit back, applaud Gareth and just say, yeah, you, you got it right when it mattered. And he certainly did, you know, and... When I heard that they were going to a back three, I was like, oh, gosh, I don't know whether I want, I'm, I'm happy with this. And when, when I was watching the game, it was the perfect for, for, um, formation to pick. And uh, these are great images, by the way, of, uh, of Bobby Moore with, with the World Cup and stuff. And it's just, uh, it's amazing to see. And, and last night was so, so cool. It sure was. Do you think we might be seeing Kane with the European Cup? Well, that would be ace, you know, and the, the good thing about that yesterday as well was that Harry got off the mark, you know, and it was it was a tough finish that he had, you know, it was a ball that was played a little bit behind him and he had to get the header on it. And um it was just great. It was a great team performance. Um, you know, not you know, even even with Raheem Sterling scoring again, you know, and and, and showing what he can do. You know, everybody knows how good he is and how good he can be, but he's doing it on the massive stage now, and it's uh it was great. It was just great. You know, everybody coming on, even with Jack Grealish coming on and making that impact. Um, it was just a fantastic day and a fantastic place to be as an England fan. And I really enjoyed myself, if I'm honest. <laughs> <laughs> Could you choose between it being more satisfying seeing Kane score or the relief for Southgate? Um, um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm, I'm more happy for Gareth, if I'm honest, because, you know, I was there when it all happened a long, long time ago. Um, and I know the hurt that he was feeling, but, um, yeah, it's been a long time coming and I'm so happy for Gareth. Um, there we go. <laughs> the England fans were certainly <laughs> very happy as well. Um, talk to me about the big gloves that, that had to be filled when you no longer played for England. How's our present goalie doing? He's doing really well. You know, he's made some big saves in the, um, in the group stages um, and he made a couple of important saves yesterday there was one that was above him you know which was a fast reaction save and then he had a one a 1v1 um where he blocked it and then he had a 1v1 where the guy put it wide um and that was important that jordan you know he, he stayed big and he made he made the guy miss the button miss the target and uh, i'm very happy for him obviously it looks very very pleased and he's got he's got every right to feel like that because that was an amazing night and like I've said before, okay, you know, it's time for these guys to create their, their own history. And um, and that's exactly what they're doing. You know, they've beaten the Germans now. It's Ukraine next. But please, everyone, don't underestimate Ukraine because they're a good team. You know, we still need to be at our best to beat them. Uh, yeah, we certainly do. And it's in Rome on Saturday. Fans can't go because uh, they can't isolate for long enough in time to be able to watch the game on Saturday night. 
What impact will it have not having England fans in the stadium? Um, yeah, it will be because of the atmosphere that, that I saw and felt yesterday. That that was amazing, you know, and, and it was only half full, um, but it was still a lot of noise. Um, England will miss that, but I'm sure that they'll be thinking, right, let's do this for the fans, let's get through this round and then get, get everyone back to Wembley and uh, hopefully be next playing the semi-final at Wembley. Yeah, I'm just a bit worried about them travelling and concerns about COVID. Yeah, I know, but they've got to obey by the rules. Um, you know, everybody has. We know that. Um, but, you know, I'm sure that the authorities will uh, will make sure that that happens. And, um, yeah, you've got to respect all, the, all of the COVID restrictions. Yeah, exactly. But we did see two of the players having to self-isolate, didn't we? Caused quite a few challenges. And uh, Southgate mentioned it at the time. Of course, whenever you travel out of the country and then you come back again, that increases any risk of, of getting COVID. They'll do everything they can to, to try and keep them safe. We need all of them now, don't we, to go through to the semis? We, yeah, we do. We need everybody fighting fit. And, um, you know, the two guys are back now. And, um, yeah, it's it's a massive game for us. Um, but, you know, is it is it one that where we feel like we did against Germany? No, we, we, we feel that we can win it, but we've still got to show the respect of, uh, of Ukraine because it, it will be a tough game. Yeah. Worried about Belgium? Yeah, Belgium, are, they're ticking along nicely. They're getting better and better. But if I'm honest, so are we. You know, we are getting better and better. You know, the, even that performance yesterday, as good as it was, I still feel we've got more to give. You know, we, we, we respected Germany because we knew that they could be a threat. Um, but I still feel that we've got a lot more to give and a lot more attacking flair. Football coming home? I hope it does, Jay, because I want to be around when it does. <laughs> I want to get involved in that party. <laughs> <laughs> you and me both. It's good to talk to you, David. We'll speak to you soon. Thanks a lot. Love to Frankie. Thank you. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Oh, it's great, isn't it? We're all so excited. And the reason is, of course, because, you know, if you've been living on the moon, it's 55 years, 1966, since we last beat Germany uh, in a knockout competition, playing Ukraine on Saturday night uh, in Rome. Uh, fans can't be there, as David was saying, but if they get through that round, then we move back to uh, Wembley for the semi-finals and the final, if we get that far. Perhaps Belgium in the final, beating them 3-0. Let me know what you think.